Hey guys, it's Steph from Creating Time for Life, and I am here to talk to you about digital stickers and how we really all want to be able to make stickers for our digital planners easily, right? Um, you want to be able to do it on the fly, and the reason why is because it's an absolute game changer. It really is. And I use this trick all the time when I'm planning. If you've watched any of my plan with me videos, you guys see that I do usually have procreate open on the side while I'm working because I do like to make stickers on the fly a lot. So I've been getting comments and I've been getting messages about how I do that. So I thought it would be a great video to make for you guys. So by the end of the video, my goal is to let you know how to make a planner stamp um, a brush stamp in Procreate so that you too can make your own stickers kind of on the fly for your digital planners. So let's be honest, there's like a million different sticker options out there. And if you're like me, there are certain go-to stickers that you use all of the time. But the problem is when you find a set that you like and it doesn't have that one sticker that you use all the time, right? Whether it's a weekly tracker, or it's a blank box that has a color around it. And oh man, is that frustrating, right? Or another perfect situation is when you find a pattern or a color palette that you love and you can't find any stickers that match it. And you're like, oh, I really want to use that color palette. Well, you can if you kind of, you know, learn how to make your own stickers super easily. So enter the stamp brush in procreate so making a stamp brush allows you to essentially make the sticker but be able to make it in such a way that you can change all of the colors you can do all the things that you want to do with it so I'm going to teach you how to do the stamp today and then if there's some other things I'll talk about it at the end that you'd like to learn um, shoot me a comment below to see or let me know what you would like to learn going on. Now, before I start, I wanted to let you know what I'm using. So I'm using my iPad Pro. I have the 12.9 inch and I use a generation, a second gen pencil. Um, I love it. I use the app Procreate and I also use GoodNotes. And GoodNotes is when I'm gonna show you guys how do I drag it from Procreate into my GoodNotes, into my digital planner. Now. The very first thing that I'm going to do, though, is actually in Canva. And if you don't use Canva, um, Canva is an awesome, 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 beyond awesome tool that can help you create graphics. It can help you create printables. It can help you create a whole bunch of things. It is an absolute powerhouse. Um, and I use it for some of my planner stamps, for some of the pictures to kind of create them. Um, by using different basic shapes and things like that. You can also draw your shape in Procreate, um, but this video is more for those people that maybe they don't know how to draw things very well and they want an easy way to make really cool looking stamps for themselves, but they don't have that drawing ability. So I'm gonna be starting also in Canva, which you can get a free account in Canva. Um, you don't have to pay for it. It doesn't have um, possibly all of the graphics that you want um, to use, but it does have a lot of the basic shapes and things that you would use for most basic planner stickers. All right, so let's get started. So this is Canva, and if you design anything ever, I'm telling you right now that Canva is amazing. Um, I absolutely love Canva. I pay for the pro subscription. Um, I also have an educator's account. Um, you can get that for free as well if you are a teacher or administrator. Um, and it's absolutely amazing. It is also free. There's a free version of it that has a lot of different stuff. Um, so I would highly recommend um, looking into that. So the very first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a picture of something that you could make like a planner sticker out of. Now, you can draw this. You can absolutely draw this in Procreate um, if you are somebody who likes to draw. 
Now, I like to draw, but there are certain things that I like to be just a little bit more um, like uniform and polished. So let me, for example, um, I'm going to put this one in because I know that it, they have one. So I'm going to search a hydration tracker and you can see I've got, there's like a whole bunch of random things that pop up, but look at this one. Now this is something that is in the pro um, version of this, but things like making your own um, like habit tracker boxes and stuff like that, you can definitely do that with the shapes in, um, yeah, in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this black, just like that. All right, so I've got black and I've got white, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to share this and I'm actually going to download this as a transparent PNG, all right? I'm going to download it as a transparent PNG. Um, awesome. I'm going to make it bigger. I don't need it to be that big. Um, I'm going to make it bigger just so that I can have really nice um, resolution with it. So sometimes if you download it and you download it at, at its smallest size, um, when you go to expand it, it isn't nice. And we want it to be a really nice, beautiful, crisp um, picture when you are doing things. All right. So I have my um, downloaded thing. I've got some other stuff on here, so I'm just going to download that one thing. So I have downloaded that, and now I'm going to show you what to do with that in Procreate. All right, All right so now I'm over here on my iPad, and I'm going to just create a new image, and I'm going to pick the square size because that is going to be um, the shape that the brush actually needs to be in. All right. And then what I'm going to do, like I said, always I use Mac products. So I'm going to use universal control and I am going to just slide over this lovely and fantastic um, image. So I've got my image from Canva. Now you can just import it. You can um, add an image in by going to the little, um, kind of wrench looking thing and you can hit add and grab an image um, however you want to do it. So on this layer, I want to make it really as big as I can in here. All right. I'm going to make it as big as I can in here. And you want to make sure that it's a nice solid thing. So don't be like, oh, it's like a gray. It's pretty. No, it needs to be a solid color. And honestly, black is the way to go. I think that that's the easiest way um, to do it. Now, here's the next thing that we're going to do. We are going to make this into a JPEG because it can't be a transparent thing. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to this lovely little wrench here and I'm going to say share image and I'm going to share it as a JPEG. And I'm not even going to move it anywhere. All I'm going to do, let me use my Apple Pencil, is I'm going to copy it. All right, so the export is successful. That is awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the brushes here. And I'm, gonna, I'm already in my little planner stamps area. So I'm going to go into the brushes and I'm going to hit this plus sign right here. And then it comes up with a whole new brush. All right, now what we need to do is we need to change the shape of our brush. That's what's going to be our um, stamp. So I'm going to go in here to shape, going into shape. And then what I'm going to do is where it says shape source up here, you guys are going to click edit. So I've edited my shape source and I'm going to click import. And this is why I like to use where I just copy that image instead of like having to like import it or anything like that because I just know that it's made and if I make a mistake I don't have to go like save it and then re-import it all that I just paste it so I'm going to paste it now notice how when I pasted it it um, pasted the way that it was it pasted that lovely fantastic white um, with that black planner stamp I don't want that okay because the way that it is right now 
Procreate does not think that the stamp is that black part. Procreate thinks that the white is the stamp part. So to change that, we are going to use two fingers. I'm gonna make sure that this is, I'm gonna hit done on that first. And then I'm gonna hit two fingers and it's gonna invert it. So now my planner stamp is the white. That is what I want to be my stamp. And now I'm gonna hit done. And you'll see it already kind of changes um, what this is, which I think is kind of interesting. So as far as stroke path goes, I like to make my spacing the maximum because this is why sometimes my Apple Pencil can get super um, just sensitive. And if I accidentally drag um, my um, my brush around, you can see it's a lot of it's a lot of space in between each one. Um, I'm not going to make a planner stamp that that's that that's that small, but um, it just makes it so that I don't have like a million of these pop up. They're kind of spread out a little bit better. So I like to change the spacing on it. And then what I'm going to go in here and do is Apple Pencil. I'm going to click on that. And then as far as the um, where the pressure is, I'm going to change my opacity to none. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this is, especially if you're using an ample pencil, um, it works on the sensitivity. So if I push really hard, it is going to be completely solid. If I don't push as hard, it's not completely solid. It's going to be a little bit um, transparent. Now that can cause a lot of issues, especially with a shape that has things that we're going to fill in later. It can also cause a lot of issues um, with really just like the consistency of things, right? Because if you have a planner stamp and you want it to be solid and then like you just can't get it solid because you can't hit the thing hard enough, that's going to annoy you. And I'm all about the simple, right? I'm all about the simple. So um, I've got my pressure opacity at none. And then I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to change my maximum size because chances are it's pretty small right now and I want my planner stamp to be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna even move my minimum size a little bit which I know seems weird um, but if I kept that minimum size it's gonna be a super super tiny brush and again remember we want nice quality and crisp lines all right so then I'm gonna hit done and you can see I've got the little brush here right so now the moment of truth. I've got that brush selected. Look, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you want it in a different color? Cool. Boom, 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 boom. How flippin' awesome is that? You guys, it's amazing. All right, so now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to clear this layer because I don't need this anymore. Um, clear it. And I'm actually going to turn the background off because I want to show you the next thing that you probably want to be able to do, especially with a, um, a sticker like this. So let's say I'm going to do this orange because you're going to be able to see it pretty well. And I'm going to make it like that. All right. So now I've got my lovely, um, I've got my little planner stamp. I'm super excited about it. And now what I'm going to do is I want to fill in um, I want to fill these in. If you don't fill them in, you that's cool. Um, those little water drops are just going to be transparent. So when you go to drag it in, um, it's not going to have a fill behind it, which is fine if you want that. But if you want it to be filled in so that like you can actually like write on it and it's not your planner background that's in there and you can like move it around. Um, then you're gonna wanna fill it. And the way that I have found is easiest to do that is by using the color dropper tool. So I've selected white um, on my color palette and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this over to here. And then I'm gonna click on continue filling. Oops, I waited too long because I was talking to you guys. Um, continue filling with recolor and oh no, look at what happens. I just gotta move my crosshair. So I'm gonna move my crosshair there so that it is in that um, blank space. And then watch what I'm gonna do. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, guess what? 
I'm done. I just made a sticker. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my planner. So here is good notes. And this is just uh, my kind of goal tracker set or, or my goal tracker over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you like if this is where I want my habit tracker. Obviously, it's not going to be in my challenges, but that's fine. All I have to do, you guys, this is where you guys like your mind is going to be like, what? This is ridiculous. All I have to do is grab that layer and plop it right there. And it's there. Then I'm also going to, if you have, if you haven't like already pre-cropped it, you'll have to crop it when you go in, but that's super easy because when I drag it in, all I'm going to do is click on it and hit that crop. And then all I've got to do is crop it and look, it's a beautiful, fantastic planner sticker. I can resize it and everything and it looks gorgeous and it's wonderful. Woo! How cool is that? So that's how you make a planner stamp. You can really make a whole bunch of different stamps. All right. All right. Hopefully that helped you learn how to create an awesome planner stamp for Procreate you to use in your digital planner. So let me know in the comments if it helped you. Now, this has already, I told you in the intro, kind of inspired me to think about other ways that I personally use um, Procreate in making those digital stickers like I do in my Plan With Me videos. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about or I wanted to do a video on, and let me know in the comments, like I said, um, if this is something that interests you, is how to import color palettes. Um, how to find a pattern that you like and use that in your digital stickers. Um, so let me know in the comments if that is something that you guys are interested in because I would love to help um, help you do that. I see posts a lot in these um, different groups that I'm in on Facebook about people just wanting to know more about digital planning and not really knowing like where to go. So I'm hoping that these super like beginnery videos can help those people kind of get started because digital planning is pretty awesome. So as always, pop over to my website, creatingtimeforlife.com. You can hit me up on Instagram at that same handle. Also on YouTube here, click subscribe so that you can always catch my new plan with me videos. I like to post those at least once a week. Um, and other than that, go have an awesome, fantastic day and do some extraordinary things. And I will see you next time. Bye.